Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with our opening weekend shot of weather from Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us in the News Channel 3 newsroom. Things are decently quiet for right now, and things into the rest of the weekend may not be that way. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Apologies for the lack of data over there. We're having some connection difficulties at this point in time for early Saturday morning. Beautiful view from Kennebunkport, Maine, looking up into around the area of the seashore, just off of the area around the seaside inn, and a lot of sun reflecting off the ocean surface for this morning. So very quiet and dry up that direction, even a little bit of snow left over around the beach area. Great area to visit and go up there, say hi to Tom and Karen Litterer. Nice of them to let us borrow their house up that direction. Clouds across the area of Fort Smith, Arkansas, and these clouds that you see are gonna be making their way across the state toward us into the course of the next couple of days as we get into with the next several hours, in fact, as we get into tonight. We'll be talking more about coming up here in just a little bit. Sound Concepts Incorporated webcam around Jonesboro, Arkansas on the Weather Underground system. Jet contrails galore. A lot of moisture starting to make their way into the higher levels of the atmosphere. So we do have a few clouds up there developing, but nothing in the way of total overcast. That's coming our way as we get into the rest of the day. Rhodes College in Memphis, plenty of sunshine and temperatures back into the mid to upper 20s across much of the Mid-South early this morning. Mineral Wells, Mississippi, just around Olive Branch. Tim B's webcam, some very nice sunshine from early on. If you'd like to see more about the Weather Underground system cameras, they're all available online for more information there. View of the St. Francis of Assisi camera in Cordova, as you see up with the traffic on Germantown Parkway, not doing too bad. And temperatures, again, rising into the mid to upper 30s to around the lower 40s as we get into later on this afternoon. Temperatures will be back into the upper 40s, probably close to about 50 degrees, but that's also where we're going to start to see the potential for some more clouds starting to make their way into parts of the Mid-South area, especially early to mid-afternoon, and then going for probably total overcast into tonight. So if you're going to be doing some stargazing, there's going to be a lot more clouds out across much of the area. No rain to report yesterday. We're behind now for the month and the year, so we could use a little bit more rainfall out there, not picking up too much rainfall anytime soon. Chilly day yesterday, well below normal on temperatures. We're back in the upper 40s for highs on Friday, lower 30s for yesterday's low temperature. Record high set back in 2008 of 76 degrees and a record low back in 1996 of 40 degrees above zero. So rather on the cool side and mainly just temperatures rising into about the 30s early. Seeing some temperatures back about the upper 40s, 50s as we go into later alone what it has been over the course of the rest of the day. Time frame on here. We'll have to get that settled back again. Chances of showers could be a possible problem as we go into very early tomorrow morning. The green that you see on screen, that's again where we see uh, the potential of some scattered light showers out across portions of the area. Northeast, northwestern parts of Mississippi, southeastern Arkansas, that's where we get into the potential of some scattered showers across much of the Mid-South area. So again, that's where we're going to be seeing the heaviest activity along and south of I-40 and then dropping on down into portions of middle Mississippi and northern Louisiana. Chances of rain will be lingering across the Mid-South through tomorrow noon. We may even see some sunshine north of Interstate 40 tomorrow as the clouds clear out by just a little bit into that particular area. So maybe some good views of the sun out there in parts of the Mid-South, but otherwise not seeing a clear sky for everybody. And then chances of rain will be back in the forecast as we go toward Monday. Rest of the day today, again, some isolated showers late this afternoon into this evening. Temperatures tomorrow for a true American holiday versus that fake one for the furry forecaster a couple of days ago. National Weather Person's Day on Sunday Sunday, mid to upper 50s across much of the Mid-South, and then mid to upper 60s as we go into Monday. And if that's not warm enough for you, how about some 70s by Tuesday and the possibility of some strong thunderstorms out there? That's where we're going to be looking at the main potential for severe weather in parts of the Mid-South. The severe weather threats already starting to pop up on the maps. We'll keep these updated throughout the rest of the weekend, so stay tuned for more on News Channel 3. Rest of the forecast, again, will be dropping back down again into around the mid to upper 40s for highs as we get a little bit closer into and around the area of Thursday. But beyond that, we just don't have too much in the way of Arctic weather heading our way anytime soon. And temperatures rebound after that back in the upper 60s by next Saturday with a chance of showers here and there. Beyond that, there's really just not that much going on. 
area into weather across the rest of the planet. If you have friends, loved ones, or relatives serving in the United States military in Iraq, temperatures just before sunset, upper 40s around Mosul, mid to upper 50s around Baghdad, down toward the Persian Gulf, 55 degrees in Basra, 57 and partly cloudy skies around Baghdad and Najaf. Back into the Persian Gulf, temperatures mainly back into the mid to upper 50s with an occasional breezy wind around Doha in Qatar and around Bahrain as well. Plenty of sunshine, clear skies, 55 degrees around Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. Into Afghanistan, looking at temperatures in the teens, clear skies around Herat. Snow reported around Kabul at the airport and also around Faizabad. Temperature in the mid to upper 20s there. Meanwhile, just cloudy skies and pretty dry down toward Kanda, 26 degrees being reported there. The Korean Peninsula, temperatures again back in the mid to upper 30s. Rain around Tegu in the east and Kunsan in the southwest and some light rain showers, 48 degrees around Pusan in the southeastern part of the country, Seoul at 36, and the demilitarized zone around Chunchan, 34 degrees currently. If you'd like to know more about getting ready for severe weather, the National Weather Service offering severe weather spotter training courses paid for by your tax dollars. Great way of getting information and knowing what to do before severe weather hits. If you'd like to know more, website right there, wreg.com slash weather. We'll post the information and links available as for there as well on my social media web pages, which you can see up in the links above the website there. These are just the first five that you see in the Mid-South. There's going to be about two dozen of these meetings coming up, including one from Memphis that's going to be around March the 23rd. So a good opportunity to learn more and again plenty of opportunities to see about this. Great for kids about maybe eight years old and up that want to learn about weather. Give kids the opportunity to get some control over what appears to be kind of an uncontrollable situation with the weather. Good opportunity to learn what to do beforehand, how to prepare with weather radios, keeping your phone charged, knowing how to communicate with people, especially the National Weather Service. You'll get a special toll-free number that will help you contact them during severe weather so you can report what's going on back to the National Weather Service. So these are very good courses to take. Last about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how many questions are out there. So this is your opportunity to learn more out there. And of course, keep in contact with me on News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, and I'll keep you updated where it comes to weather potential on these area websites. And don't forget about our weather app either. Get the weather app for your particular branch of phone, whatever it is you've got out there. Go to your particular app store and search WREG Weather for more information there. We'll have an update on the forecast as it pertains to severe weather and the rest of the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. That'll be coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10, and of course tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Questions, concerns, ideas? Please let me know, austin.onic at wreg.com. That's my email address. Facebook Messenger occasionally works, not all the time, so if you want to send it there, that's great, but it may or may not get through. So my email address, austin.onic at wreg.com, would be the best bet there. Keeping an eye on the severe weather chances, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the weekend for the latest live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Thanks for joining us for our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Saturday morning.